Now, uh, in Teleforth on the command line, when you first start the program, you can do you can do some mathematics here. Let's see, we'll turn on the graphics and we hit the plus button. We get three. Let's see, we take five here and we can hit the times button. We can multiply it. Uh, we can put uh, uh, two and we can slash it to seven. Or if we want a more uh, rational thing, we can do uh, slash mod and we get one, two. Uh, let's see, and if we decide to uh, uh, subtract, we have to type the word negate. And, oops, if you spell it correctly and then plus. And so we see we get uh, all the math functions right there. Now we can do all that in uh, hexadecimal as well. I just turned on the hexadecimal keyboard and uh, there we go. So I just added four to negative one and got a four. I mean five to negative one and got a four. Okay, um, now if I want to uh, uh, save some of that information, I can do that with these variables up here certainly. Uh, and uh, let's see. In fact, I can demonstrate some fourth ideas, some color fourth ideas, and uh, uh, and how the system's operating with just a couple of variables. One showing uh, uh, what's going on in the accumulator, uh, EAX, and another one that we can use for a temporary helper showing us in uh, what's going on at the second uh, location in, in the stack, EAX being the first location. The second location is, of course, uh, uh, typically or I mean traditionally known as NOS or next on stack and it's pointed to by a value that's being currently held in the ESI register uh, but we'll uh, we'll call our temporary uh, helper variable TH here and now we've recreated the word math so we can get rid of that okay so see more math all right now uh, what you just saw me do was uh, uh, currently save the system if I dismiss it and bring it immediately back and you see how quickly the system responds I can go to block and edit and there it is it's persistent this value saved between saves okay and that's helpful in uh, my little calculator program here alright so um, something we can do uh, to help ourselves is uh, we can call up the red keyboard now and let's create a word called set and what set will do is it will do like we would do it would take the MA and the TH and now we've got to do that backwards because if we put MA on the stack first and TH on the stack second and we decide to go ahead and set these we want to do it in the opposite order. Now, okay, I just hit the copy key and I can put that there. And now I can put that there. Now I've just done a little save thing. And I can set the block on. And now I can uh, uh, put uh, a couple of values, let's see, five and six, and type the word set. Oops, set. And you can see that the variable sets up themselves. So obviously the next thing to do is to get them. And uh, let's see, get, we'll do a fetch. We can use the copy button to do double fetch. We can copy that, copy that, copy that. And fetch will do like we do. It will enter onto the stack the way we do, or get will. So we uh, save the block and now when I load this program I can get them as well I can uh, turn on another block of helper words that I can discuss later and we can swap these values and set them and now they're swapped and I can get them okay and a quick break avenues sends that to a count adjuster which is pushed and then popped. The count adjuster, what it does is it creates a... a uh... Okay, well I've had my little little break. Um, so we can discuss what we've got here now. We've got a couple of uh, a couple of white words on the screen here that the compiler ignores. That's the, uh, the man's name here. And then we also have 
a couple of uh, magenta variables that can be persistent. We saved right there in this spot. We showed that a red word, when you set a red word, it uh, c creates a carriage return. So if, if I write another word here uh, and uh, set it, then we're going to get a carriage return right there, um, right in between the words. Also, uh, we would mentioned that uh, uh, that we wanted these words to uh, to follow along with what the stack does, and uh, and because it's convenient, because surely I can I can uh, load this block and I can address the th variable by itself and get its variable. But if I want to do them both together, and if I want to do them both together in such a way that I don't make a mistake, then I can do it this way. And as it turns out. Uh, to mirror the, the registers we were talking about, we really want to do is swap this idea and we get basically the same thing. But we wanted MA to be the to be EAX. So, uh, and, and it also turns out that uh, we don't want to we don't want to take all the things off the stack if we're just mirroring it. Uh, if the, if that's an easy word to say. Let's see. So we can actually remove that return. And if I want to set them to uh, 10 and 12, then I can <clears throat> uh, beg your pardon, load the block and uh, set. And now we see the 12 is in the AX and the TH. It, it set it and then it got it. And we now have exactly the same thing on the stack that we do on the uh, up on the in the variables. Okay, so now we've got a sort of a mirror going on here. Okay, and now I just cleared the stack, but it didn't clear the, the mirror variables, so we can do something about that too. I'm going to uh, use our color changer letter, the C there. I'm going to change Chuck C into a, <clears throat> a C period here uh, in red, and change the O's in his name to zeros. Okay, and now when I type, uh, turn on the block and type C period, the variables set themselves, get themselves, and then they drop the zeros down here on the stack. But that's not necessarily what we want to do either. So we don't want to bring zeros in the stack. We want to empty. So we can also include in this new C word our old C word. C. Okay. So now when I clear the stack, if I type C point, I got Oh, because get returned. It did clear the stack, but get returned. So really, what we want to do is to uh, uh, remain, keep these ideas. But we can do something else. We can create a new word here, stand in the way, and we can put a return there. And then we can copy that word, copy that word, and we can change that word to green and we've got now a set that gets and a clear that clears the memory so I'll make sure we can do that let's go five and six and uh, empty the block. load the block here and we will go ahead and set oops I put a carriage return and I meant to fall through. There we go. Now we've got two words that fall through. And uh, we go ahead and load the block. Five, six, set. Okay, now set got. And this time we'll hit clear period. And now everything works basically the same. And I'll take a quick break.